Hey everybody, my name is David Welch. I am here at Brothers Tech Center today to show you how to do a really nice simple custom on your truck that used to take me hours and hours and hours to do, but we've got it all the way down to about 20 minutes for you. Now if you look at your cow right here, you can see it has all these slots and a really common custom move is to get rid of those and smooth them all out. So you have to cut it out, you have to get a patch in there, and you have to weld it, you got to do all your body work and things like that. But I'm going to show you how to save tons of times on that. Now when you're doing this kind of a job, think about all the peripheral things you're going to need at the same time. Wiper, arms, you're going to want to get this uh, cow rubber right here. You can see when it gets this old, it just simply breaks on off. So get all your peripherals set up, get your smooth cow, and then all you're going to do is just simply take off your wiper arms. You just take off about seven screws, and then this will just pull forward a little bit and then on up. So you got to just clear the wiper arms and then this will come right up on here. Okay, so you'll notice these slots right here. And they're gonna fit right onto these tabs right here. So here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. This is just one solid piece. It's just really nice. And if I would have had to cut this all out and weld it back in, it would take me hours. I'd have body work to do. I'd have to block sand it. This is actually better than I can do with all of that time and trouble. It's already done for you, and this is going to be a lot less expensive than paying me to do it for you. Now before I put my piece on, I want to make sure that this is all prepared properly too. Remember, it's all the dirt that falls in here and the water that comes on down and collects and causes all the rust problems you have down in the front of your cabs and your fenders. So get all that dirt out of there. If you got any rust in there, go ahead and shoot some rust converter on there or go ahead and paint it all up. But get that all prepped up and looking good before you go ahead and put this guy on. Now I want you to know a couple of things about this right here. First is, you see these little tabs right here? Now those tabs will come sticking straight out. What you want to do is you just want to bend them down a little bit, okay? Not a lot, just a little bit. And what these do is on the end right here where your metal comes around, that's where these tabs rest right here. So when I put it on, it'll be up a little bit high and I can just push it down and that'll bend these tabs into the right spot to give this nice and level right here. Another thing I want you to notice is your rubber hood cowl rubber. You want to take that out of the plastic as soon as you get it. You want to lay it out in the sun and put something heavy on it so it's nice and flat and easy to work with. You want to notice that there is a notch right here in the rubber. Can you see that there? And that notch is going to line up with this indentation in this piece. You'll notice that when that is, it, the rubber will be a little bit taller than the piece. You can go ahead and uh, trim it down if necessary. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this guy here and it just goes on just like it came off. We're just going to slide it on, get it over the wiper arm holders there and get it on my tabs. So just give me a second to line this up and I'll be right back. Alright, so you know that you're installing this right when the notch and the notch line up and you'll also notice these ribs right here. Those ribs have to be facing upwards. So we know we've got it going in right. All I'm doing is just lifting this up a little bit and tucking it right up underneath. So just like that. So now what I can do is I will get something that's nice and sharp. I'll see exactly where the hole is, put the rubber back, and then I'll go ahead and pump a hole right through the rubber. I'll get my new screws, which of course, because you planned ahead and you got all the peripherals, you have the screw kit too. Yes, you could use your old ones. They are old and tired and ugly. Yes, you could go and you could find them, but you can just order them and be done with it. So you get one started. I'm not screwing it all the way down tight. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull the rubber just a little snug, and then I'm gonna look for the next hole. We want to make sure that the rubber doesn't have any kind of like gaps or is bumping out like this. So you need to pull, go ahead and um, Pull it just a little taunt so that it is uh, on correctly and make sure that it's all the way back and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of these holes done and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. 
So you can see that only takes about 15 minutes to do. You got a nice smooth cow on there. You're looking custom and you're keeping out all the dirt and trash that's gonna cause you rust in the future. You make sure you check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe, ring bells, you know what to do.